This is perhaps the largest highway in the world, yet no concrete has been laid. From above, the Amazon looks completely barren, but if you look close enough, you can find cities of over a million people. These are not cities that you can drive to. Instead, the longest and most grand river in the world is transformed into a superhighway. So, a remote superhighway located in between countries like Peru, Colombia, and Brazil? How convenient. This makes transportation for almost anything you can imagine very feasible in one of the most remote parts of the world. Anything or anyone. I was talking to him once he did get on and he was saying he's banned from Peru. He said when they get to like a point where if they have to check, he's gonna jump on one of the small boats and meet the ship at the next stop. Cargo ships in this region double as buses. Very slow and disgusting buses. But at one point, even locals feared this form of transportation because of piracy and kidnapping. Nowadays, the Amazon is more heavily surveillance and militarized. A relief for most locals, but a burden to others. So join me as I live three days in a hammock, traveling from Leticia in Colombia to the city of Iquitos in Peru on the world's smelliest cargo ship on the Amazonian superhighway. Hello everyone, welcome to Leticia, Colombia. Today I start a long journey by cargo ship all the way to Iquitos in Peru. Three days on a cargo ship, it's leaving tonight. There's a lot of stuff I need actually if I want to go. I need to grab a hammock, some provisions, I need to get my exiting stamp from Colombia and my entrance stamp to Peru, so I'm still here with my boy Tom. We're gonna get our provisions and we're gonna get to Equitos Peru. Okay, vamos. I may also be tempted before we start by a mystery juice. Quieres un jugo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's get one. ¿Qué es este? A ver. Limón. Limón, okay. Do, dos de limón, por favor. ¿Qué quieres? Uno más jugo. Okay, entonces tres todo. Uno para ella. ¿Nueve mil? Okay, aquí está nueve. Nueve mil. Gracias. Gracias. Yo compré uno para ti. Ah, chao. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Exactly right here is the border of Brazil. This is Colombia. And basically, if I throw a stone that way, I'll hit Peru. So it's important right at this intersection they have a place to exchange monies. I'm gonna get a hundred dollars with a soles. Soles. Damn, he really investigated that note. Which is gracias. We're going to Lama Land. The next stop is going to be the airport because that's the only place I can go to get an exiting stamp for Colombia. The ship leaves from Peru, so I got to cross the river, go to Peru, and then I'll get my entrance stamp in Peru. I did not expect such a beautiful airport in the middle of the jungle. Which is going to say Ciao. You got it? Todo bien. No, he didn't want to give it to me. No. He was like, no, you live here now. 89. 89, here it is. I'm gonna sleep so good on this hammock tonight. Maybe sleep for 13 hours. Which is gracias, amigo. A la orden, amigo. Ciao. All right, bro. Thank you for everything. Amigo, really <laughs> nice to meet you. You as well, bro. Enjoy your trip. Tom was mostly in my last video, but he helped me out for this one. But uh, let me get your Instagram before I go. Oh, okay. So the boat actually provides three meals a day, but I don't know if I have confidence in the jungle meals, so. I'm here at the hipper. I just want to get a shit ton of water. Oh, I might just have enough. I have exactly 84. I might total that 73 before these oranges. This is a damn buzzer beater. ¿Cuánto es por los tres? Porque solo tengo 84. 84. Ah, sí. Tengo cambio. Holy. Truly a buzzer beater. Aquí está exacto. Gracias. By far the biggest hobo moment of my life. I got basically my house on my back and then all my provisions for the next three days on my shoulder. Dude, inshallah I can make it. I am dying out here. I had a friend who was here before, the one that was driving me around last video. Oh wait, I think that's him. <laughs> wow, what a great timing. Amigo, que tal? Okay. Bueno tiempo. Si, buen tiempo. Pero solo tengo soles, esta bien? Si. ¿Cuánto quieres? 20 soles. 20? 
Está bien. Gracias. Oh my gosh, I'm shattered. I knew today would be exhausting, but I'm almost done it. I'm going to sleep at eight o'clock tonight. Life is good. Aquí está 20. Okay. Para el pasaporte no es cerca? No, está largo. Está como unos 20 minutos caminando. Oh, sí, ok. Gracias. Para inmigración. Ok, muchas gracias. Chao. Para inmigración. Sí. ¿Cuánto quieres? Tres. Ingreso. Sí. Hopefully my bags are good in the back like that. Está abierto, sí? Okay. Y después voy por la la ah sí. The security are guarding immigration. Hola. Gracias. Ok, amigo, todo bien. Y yeah. por el bota de eh, Equitos. 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 La cargo. Bote de cargo. ¿Tú sabes? No. Ok. Gracias, amigo. ¿Cuánto quieres? Ocho. Ok, está bien. Ok, chao. Chao. Oh. Hey man, going to Iquitos. Yeah, it's going. Ok, you too. I don't know. Oh, you're on the fence. No, it's complicated. Ok, I understand. Alright, well maybe see you there. Ok, cheers. <laughs> Paletos aquí. No. Ya sé, ya. Sí, tengo. En la noche, voy a cobrar. ¿En la noche? Sí. Oh, no hay hora. Salir, ya. Ok, perfecto, gracias. Ya. Es poco, niña. Ok. I've heard the second floor is better. Because you get more of a breeze. Hey guys, more gringos. Wait, are you, where are you guys from? No, we're Italian. Oh, Italian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gringo. I'm not United States gringo. I'm Canada gringo. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Gringo-ish. Gringo-ish. Yeah. Wait, I feel. <laughs> Already set up. Muchas gracias. I'm glad this guy was here. I would not be able to do this on my own. Ah, sí. Perfecto. Oh. It's muy alto, see? ¿sí? Oh my Maybe gosh. Fall off. The thing is that it's gonna go down. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That looks like a really comfy hammock, to be it's, honest. It's valid. Did, did you just want to bring it home? Well, we spent it, yeah, we spent a bit even bit more and we how, how much were these? Uh they were what was, eight. What was ninety-five? It was ninety-five. It's pretty, got pretty good. I think I paid seventy-five for this. Really? Sounds okay. kind of crappy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> perfecto. Sí, perfecto, gracias. I need to investigate the toilet, and the Italian couple already did not really praise it. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Oof. That does not look like fun. I guess if you wanted... There's a shower. It's not bad, actually. The temperature is nice. That wouldn't be an awful shower. Huh, I might take one. Okay, yeah, so it does close. You can take a shower. You know, I don't think it's awful. It's not good, but it's not awful. Oh, let's steal it. Let's commandeer the vessel. Let's check out the other one. This one is a lot worse, let's just say. The other one, bad, but not vomit-inducing. That one could be vomit-inducing. There's still like an hour and a half till we leave. 
It's gonna be dark by then. I'm freaking tired. I might fall asleep right now, so I think that's enough for today. It's almost midnight and I can't sleep because I've been sweating all day and I'm just so sticky and gross. I think I'm gonna try to use the shower. There's bugs everywhere. Anyone could barge in at any point. Fuck <gasps> okay, it, I just gotta do it. I'll feel very good after this. I could literally piss at the same time. You know, the, the toilet looks really bad, but it's just the mud water from the Amazon. It's not like pee pee poo poo water. Yeah, let's flush that. Do I dare to put my head in this? I didn't bring a towel. I might drink it. Alright. Oh, there's so many bugs on the light. Hopefully this helps me sleep. That was disgusting. It needed to be done for science. <laughs> I don't know if these slobs are coming on board. It'd be nice to have some of my kind on board. I can't say I slept great. It rained like crazy all night. Like I wasn't getting wet, but the floor would get wet. So it was like always concerned. Like it would accumulate puddles and like my bag would get soaked. So like I was always kind of preoccupied with that. Como se llama de la, de la Puebla? Cabello de coche. Cabello de coche. Ah, perfecto. Mucho gusto. Ciao. For a town in the middle of the Amazon, it's quite nice. They got little um, unicorns. Hopefully they give us a little ring-a-ding-ding when that thing's about to leave, because as nice as this place seems, I really don't want to be stuck living in Cabello de coche. I think after a day or two, it'd lose its nostalgic value. The only thing they seem to eat around here is plantains. Yeah, it's, it's got basically skyscrapers. That's like a five-story building. I gotta stop talking my shit. All right. This is the lunch. It's rice, some kind of sauce, and chicken. Not bad. It's hard to eat chicken with a plastic spoon. I don't really want to use my hands because I used the uh, dirty washroom and there's not really a place to wash them. It's fine by me, tastes fine. Mediocre sized piece, but can't complain for a cruise ship like this. A cruise ship. We're on a cruise ship. Better than Israel. This is a church. Israel Congregation de Jehovah. Jehovah's Witness? They have all three flags of Brazil, Peru, and Colombia, but well, that's quite faded. I can't say the people here are quite welcoming to the gringos, because I've walked by many people, just shot them, and I saw hola, and they just seem to stare. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> At least he shot me a smile. It didn't say nothing back. What's your name? My name? Nolan. ¿Cómo te llamas? Miguel. Miguel? Mucho gusto. ¿Cómo se llama de esta Puebla? Chimbote. Chimbote. Okay. ¿Y cuántas personas viven aquí? No sé cuántas serán. No sé. Yeah. Chao, gracias. Well, I found the friendliest man in the village. The only person who would spare a few words. Those dudes right there are immigration. And whenever I first got on the ship, remember that guy who was hesitant to get on? I was talking to him once he did get on, and he was saying he's banned from Peru. He said when they get to like a point where if they have to check, he's gonna jump on one of the small boats and meet the ship at the next stop. Yeah, so they just came and checked on right now. So I don't know where that guy is right now. I, I think he's in the town waiting till they get off the boat but who knows maybe he's jumping on a small boat to the next town like he said so 
so they just had another crew of police officers coming and like checking through everything here. Uh, I still don't see Homie. I'll, I'll keep you updated if Homie re-enters the boat at some point. Alright, we're heading off now. Don't know where Homie went, but maybe he'll show himself. Or maybe he's on a speedboat right now heading to the next stop. Who knows? I'm very invested into this plot, to be honest. But you probably also got to assume the reason that this area is so highly surveillance is probably there's a lot of narco smuggling along the Amazon River. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess they're training, but look at it. Oh, whoa. Start shooting it. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, they're just posing. Just posing for a photo. Do not fuck with the border patrol of Chimbote. God damn. Big respect if a uh, homie escapes the wrath. Holy shit. He, he really pulled it off. So I got a chance to talk to him and asked him like, what was the conversation whenever you got back on the ship? Did they ask you anything? And all he said was, I just gave them 200 solas and they didn't have any questions. Money can essentially get you out of any kind of a situation. Let's see how many of these cowardly children wave at me. <laughs> He's funny. How long do I have to do this before they wave? <laughs> oh God, you're gonna you're gonna keep me doing this for this long? Yes. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I literally did it for a fucking minute and none of them waved. Tito, Capitan Tito. Jorge. 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 Assistant Jorge. Mucho gusto. Cuánto horas trabajar en un día? Tres. Seis. Hay mucho. ¿Qué país? Canadá. Canadá. ¿Y tú? Iquitos, Perú. Iquitos, Perú. Claro. Buen lugar. Ah, gracias, amigo. What is this mystery meat? And part of it's neck. That's not nice. Not nice at all. No more mystery meat tonight. So shy they never want to say hi to me or anything. That's basically day two coming to an end. Uh, just been on this ship now for basically 24 hours now. Not even halfway though. Probably gonna get in um, not tomorrow morning but the next morning so probably another like 30 to 35 hours on this thing. Hopefully it'll make good time. Who knows. We're racing. They wave! Wow, I've just been getting mean mugged all day. It's like 7 a.m. They came around giving the breakfast out. If you want to call it breakfast, all it is is these little hard bread cracker things and porridge. You dip it in, softens them up. It's actually really good porridge. All right. I unlocked a new part of the map. But the only problem with this part of the map is that I'm already pretty burnt and the sun here is lethal. I think I have some sunscreen I dig up, but it's kind of a death sentence just chilling up here for a bit. Might do some productivity up here, you know, write some poems. Besides that update, update, update. We're on our third calendar day. 
Uh, we're more than halfway now. I think we have like almost exactly 24 hours to go. We're getting in on Wednesday morning. Spirits are pretty mid right now, as the kids would say, but I think it could pull through. I don't know if we're gonna do anything crazy today, but this is fun. I'm having fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's the coolest. Out of the whole crew, that kid's the coolest. He decided to wave back. That's how I know he's cool. I was about to shoot down the middle finger. Imagine rocking up to this town and then going to the disco bar. Damn, I bet that's a raging time at the neighborhood Amazonian disco bar. What the fuck? Yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. I've done nothing. I guess the sound is to tell the town people the ferry boat's coming in, you know? Bebas, terra de amor. The land of love. I'd like to know why it's called the land of love. Terra de amor. Amigo, ¿cómo se llama de este pueblo? Pebas? Ah, sí, Pebas. Pebas es la tarea de amor. Tierra de amor. Tierra de amor. ¿Por claro. qué? Si no lo haces, te hacen. ¿Las chicas son guapas? Sí, demasiado. Perfecto. Okay. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Voy a probar ¿Ah? la comida de la tarea de amor. Mi amor is on the phone. Hola. ¿Qué, qué jugo es? De piña. De piña, ok, uno de piña, gracias. Okay. Un, sol. un sol, ok, un momento, un momento. Necesito buscar un sol. Yeah. Aquí es, es dos sol, ¿no? ¿Dos sol? Ok, está bien. Para ti. Ok. No, no cambio, gracias amor. Yeah. Ok, voy a probar. ¿Quieres uno? Por mi cambio, uno más. Por él. Gracias. Ok, disfruta. Oh, he's got the bag. That's smart. I should have got one like that. <laughs> okay, salud, amigo. Ah, okay. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Bought him a whole drink. Got left hanging. Amigo, de qué país es usted? De cada... ¿Cuánta gente vive en aquí? Seis mil. Seis mil? Chao, mi amor. Bye. Cuídate, cuídate. Chao, amigo. De igual manera, cuídate mucho. Gracias, chao. I don't, I'm not quite convinced it's the land of love. They seem lovely. Are they the finest chicks in all the Amazona? I don't know. All right, we are on the boardwalk of the Tarria de Amor. I reckon I'm gonna make my way to this floating shop. I don't know if um, their, uh, their stair structures support fat boys like me. Why support a shop on land when you could support a floating shop? Huh, will I survive this? Okay, kids are working. Hola, ¿qué tal? Quiero algo dulce. ¿Son toros aquí? Sí. Okay. De... Dos, dos paquetes de este. Dos, ya. Okay. Moracha snacks. Maybe I got a mystery um, soda pop. ¿Qué es este? Es como el Inco Cola. Ajá, sí. Es, Así es. El mismo sabor. Ajá, sí, pues. ¿Tienes frío o sí, sí, sí. Gracias. The Inca Cola is like the national soda of Peru, but I don't know if they got it here in the Amazonas. Okay, y esta, gracias. ¿Cuánto? Cuatro cincuenta. Cuatro cincuenta. Dale, don Andy. Esta me pasa, mijo. Hola. No hablas nada. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? He got hurt. Está quebrado, su brazo. Ah. Mami, ya me está chiquitita. Todos tus niños. Ajá, mi sobrinito. Ah, sobrinito, ok. Chao, niños. Chao, niños. Ok. Buenos días. We got our Inca Cola ripoff and our snacks. Now, all I have to do is make it back alive. <laughs> what a cute little floating shop. This is the most scary part, is here. These are, this is made for those little kids. The land of love. What a great time it's been. But I need to continue our journey to Iquitos. Only a full day left on this goddamn boat from hell. Knock off Inca Cola. It's 
it's rough. It's like if cream soda was made in a paint store. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn chicken! I don't know if this boat's trying to get it. He wants to help him, but I think it's too far under the boat. They gave up. No more chicken for dinner. I thought it was going to be a vegetarian dinner tonight because they lost the chicken, but I guess, I guess they found another one. Mmm. Um, oh, what was that? Copy bear? Oh, it was a dolphin. Dinner and a show. The chicken's not sus tonight. Very normal cut of chicken. They also blessed us with spaghetti tonight. They think I'm funny. So that is officially 48 hours on this darn boat. We're gonna get in tomorrow morning. I've got pretty accustomed to life living on the boat. I think I could do this for about a week or so, but regardless, glad to get into Iquitos. The last sunset on the boat. Basically, 9 a.m. That marks 62 hours on that gosh darn boat. Honestly, not that bad. Plaza Sargento Lores. Si, sí, yeah. Plaza Sargento Lores? Si. Sí. Tu sabes? Si. Sí. En cuanto vale? Mil sole. Mil? Si. Sí. Mil sole? Si. Sí. <laughs> no, sí. o sea, 15. 15. 15 soles? Si, yeah, vamos. Ok, perfecto. Mil sole, <laughs> amigo. Mi cosa está hasta bien, ¿no? Aquí, eh. Okay. Ah, okay, adentro. Más seguro. And just like that, we are in Iquitos, the most remote city in the world. This is the largest city that you cannot drive to. It's half a million people and no roads go here. The only way you can get here is by a boat and by a plane. This is my second time here, and I've done both ways. I've flown here, and I've gone here on boat. Tienes cambio para los 50? No. Okay, voy a ir adentro por cambio. Gracias. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Um, sí, tengo reserva aquí, pero necesito cambio para el ducto. Perdón. No, no, no es tu culpa, es culpa de ellos. Ah, sí, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, a gosh darn bed. Oh, thank you, Buddha. I love this bed. I'm never leaving. Except I have to be up at like 7 a.m. tomorrow to go live in the fucking jungle. Woo! Quick recap of the boat. Really cool, authentic experience. Food was honestly all right, besides like the mystery parts of the chicken. Would do it again. Next one, I'm going into the jungle. Peace, y'all.